Right, this is a quick walk around video, and this is for a Lexus RX 400 Hybrid. This is the SE Navigator model, and as you can see here, it's on a really lovely private plate L400 SUV. So, and that comes with the car. Uh, very well looked after mechanically, this car. Um, serviced eight times by Lexus themselves, and then the final four services all conducted by a Lexus specialist. Um, cam belt, water pump, tensioner was done in 2013. So not scheduled for quite a while yet. Um, finished in silver as you can see here with a full black leather interior and the car is very very nice. Uh, all the lights and lenses completely intact. There's no um, cracks or condensation in any of those. The front has only the lightest amount of stone chipping given the fact that the car has done 116,000 miles. You'd expect it to have more than it's got but uh, it's, it's done very very well indeed. So just come around to the near side of the car first and squat down just to show you down the flanks but very 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 smooth in the panel work there i can't see any indentations at all front wing front bumper corner very clean michelin tire on the uh, near side front here alloy they are original they're very good but they do have pickling on them which you're going to get on lexus cars of this type and age and they're not being sort of tarted up or blown over and um, so there's a little bit on there um, I like to be sort of honest with people on these things. Then to continue down the panel work, as I said, very clean. There will be the odd minor stone chip or mark that the camera doesn't pick up, so do bear that in mind, please. Um, but there's hardly anything. Um, rear Dunlop tyre on the back. Again, good brand tyres on this car. And the rear alloy, generally good. Again, just with a little bit of pickling around the, um, notably around sort of the tyre valve and between a couple of the spokes there. It doesn't really detract in all honesty, sort of given the age and the mileage of the car. Um, very, very nice indeed. Coming around the back, rear bumper is um, very clean with only a couple of very, very, very minor marks on it. And the car does show a um, tow bar or a mounting for a tow bar. I don't have the ball for the tow bar. It may turn up from the um, people that sold us the car, but I cannot promise that. So please don't factor that into, you know, um, your decision to buy the car please um, off side of the car again very very good indeed there was a tiny little mark on the bumper there if you can just see it just it is very much down minus just been sort of touched in by the last owner but rear wing very clean then a dunlop to match the other rear tire alloy again this one shows a little bit more on this one and on the state um, and then come down the panel work here so very 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 clean and then final one we've got a bridge stone on the side so it's good quality tires all around so you can hear the engine cutting in and out as it's meant to do and there is curbing on this wheel and a little bit pickling too um, but overall on the exterior a very 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 clean car um, you're certainly considering the age and mileage of the vehicle coming to the boot area nice big boots very well appointed and beautifully finished off as well um, all in you know, generally very good order as well and um, just to show you underneath here you've got the full complement of original tools all there and intact and then you've got these two little cubby holes just press a the button there and there open them up and you've got extra stowage areas you've also got the um, little point there to lower the spare wheel what's really nice on these you get this little um, recess here and on here as well and so you can put the parcel shelf in there just to stow it out of the way if you don't want it it just means that you're not constantly sort of putting it in and out of your garage and losing the thing as i've done on many an occasion and then finally obviously this electric power tailgate all working exactly as it should so can offside rear door card very very clean and tidy the interior is in amazing condition for the age and mileage of the vehicle. It's really nice. It comes with full complement of original Lexus over mats. You can see in there, and all very, very clean and tidy. Back of the seats, which can take a bit of a kicking from kids, in all honesty, but they are very, very good indeed. And the leatherwork itself is absolutely fantastic. So this light, unfortunately, I can't really pick and choose my times, is very, very, very clean. Hardly a mark of any note on there at all. 
Coming to the front now, driver's door card again, generally very, very nice indeed. And just this running theme through this video. Footwell errors, all very clean. Obviously you've got electric memory seats on the car and the leather work, even the bolsters, really, really, really good. Uh, very rare to see as nice as this. And if I've been critical, you've got the tiny, tiniest little, you know, you could, you know, you could do a touch that in, in two seconds flat, but can we choose not to do so? And then all the center storage areas, clean and tidy. And the front passenger seat, if I got my hand shaking because it's freezing cold. Again, very, very, very nice. And obviously, you get a lot of natural light come through on the electric sunroof there as well, with the blind that can pop over. So sat inside the car now. Obviously, the engine's running or the hybrid system's active as it has been all the way through. Passenger door card, as you can see there, absolutely pristine. As is, in all honesty, the rest of the dashboard it is in fantastic condition. Testament to the build quality, but also how the car's being owned. But it is in beautiful condition. Nice to see, actually. I've got nothing against people smoking, but the cigarette lighter has been removed from this car. And it gives you all the impression of the fact that it's never been smoked in, because I'm pretty sensitive to it, in all honesty. Um, sat nav, working absolutely perfectly. Pop the car into reverse there. And you've got a lovely crystal clear. Uh, parking camera with a sort of grid built into it as well um, but really really fabulous condition coming up to the binnacle here just a pan in there for you 116,763 miles and as you can clearly see absolutely no warning lights in the car at all steering wheel looks and feels pretty much as new in hand as well um, but it really is in fabulous fabulous condition in here just quickly show you owners of manual pack is here and present with the car as is very importantly the lock and wheel nut set for the car as well right then this is a quick road test video and this is for a Lexus RX 400 hybrid and this is the SE model uh, navigation a car as well as you can see with the sat nav and the vehicle this particular car is registered L400 SUV and mileage at the start of this road test is 116,757 miles. The reason we do the road tests, as I say in all of our videos, is very simple indeed. We just want our potential buyers to actually see our cars in operation prior to coming to see us. Um, that way if there's any issues with the vehicle, I can and I always do relay them back to you. Um, I've done it on many of my previous ones, so I see no reason not to continue it. Um, it is the sole purpose of the videos. We've been on the receiving end ourselves quite often of going to see cars where we've asked people if there's an issue, and then you drive it and find out straight away there clearly is, and you should have been told about it, so hence that's why we do it. Um, so starting with the car, uh, clearly as you know from the advert, it's been very, very well maintained, and it certainly feels it straight away engine starts absolutely straight away obviously it starts in hybrid mode and then kicks the engine in as when it's required but it does so seamlessly smoothly uh, and quietly without any judders or otherwise uh, the car's been running for quite some time now temperature gauge is running at just under half which is exactly where it should be on a lexus car of this type uh, what the videos can't really get over to you is what a lovely engine this is and it works brilliantly with a hybrid system put your foot down and it just sings its heart out. It's smooth, it's powerful. Um, it's the absolute opposite of turbo diesels in that sense. It's a, it's a wonderful, wonderful unit. Um, and it works absolutely brilliantly well. It really does. You know, the way the hybrid and Synergy system work together to get the, you know, the engine and the hybrid system kicking in and out at various times is, a, is an absolute work of art and an engineering miracle as far as I'm concerned. Um, but yeah, working fabulously, exactly as it should. I mean, this was done 112,000 miles, but it might as well have done 20,000 miles for how it's working currently. Engine then goes through into Lexus automatic CVT gearbox. Uh, they chose the CVT clearly because it works so well with the hybrid system. Um, you know, it makes for, it's very hard to explain, but the, way, the best way I can do it is if, you know, someone in the distance is pulling you on elastic band, it's got that feeling, it just, Put your foot down, it goes. There's no gear change, there's nothing. It's just a it's constant, smooth application of power and torque. Um, and it's brilliant. It's so, so smooth. It's lovely. 
um, and it's working absolutely fantastically. Um, as you should always do with any car with an automatic gearbox, just a stationary check whilst it's nice and hot, just to make sure that there's no clunks when it engages into gear originally, or selects drive more accurately. Um, but this is absolutely perfect, it drives beautifully. Car tracks absolutely bullet straight, there's no vibrations coming back through the steering wheel of the car. You've got a really nicely weighted power steering system nice and accurate it's, you know it, it isn't a sports car but it drives very very nicely indeed um, and I can't detect anywhere coming through the steering at all there's no kind of vagueness there's no slack in it there's no um, clonks on lock or anything um, you know it's exactly as it should be likewise the suspension of the vehicle very very smooth um, they ride beautifully beautifully well but they maintain very good body control as well so they, they've done a very good job on it um, but the ride, as I said, is just wonderful. Um, but again, what I'm listening out for is just those faint metallic noises you sometimes get with cars with age, and that's nearly always, um, you know, it's not dramatic stuff, but it tends to be things like sort of little drop links, anti-roll bar links, which may have sort of just got a bit of wear in them, but these are absolutely fine. The brakes on the car, nice solid brake pedal there's no vibrations or pulsing from the brake pedal at all which suggests all nice and good underneath there um, also as I'm driving along just listening out for any kind of wind noise that might be coming into the vehicle I mean these are wonderfully quiet cars but that could be ruined if you've got a sunroof seal or um, windscreen seal or door seal being damaged um, which allowing the wind hiss in but this is exactly as it should be it's absolutely beautifully quiet in here Looking around inside the car, obviously it's going to be valeted before the car's sold, uh, but it's in lovely condition. It's been kept very, very nicely indeed, and it beggars belief to, that it's done the miles it's done, in all honesty. It just feels absolutely just incredibly solid and strong, squeak and buzz-free in the interiors. Um, Lexus, you know, build their cars better than anybody currently in this sector. Um, you know, certainly when it gets to this kind of age of mileage, they really sort of show up you know, others for a, a, a definite lack of build quality in all honesty um, and durability. Um, such nice places to sit as well. Your black with a silver trim looks absolutely fantastic. Um, and obviously this one has said navigation system on these navigator models. Um, all working absolutely perfectly as well as is the dual zone climate control. Um, that's all functioning exactly as it should. A heated seat I'm just putting on now, but I did check it earlier. It works absolutely fine. But it just is in just such nice condition in here. It's been kept beautifully well. And it just drives so nicely. It's, it, the cockpit just, you know, it's got all the gadgets you could ever really want. But it's just easy to use it. It, it doesn't um, phase anybody getting in out. Lots of modern cars have lots of little sort of menus, sub-menus, which you can go into. And they just... I find them really distracting I've got to be honest with you and this is really is a breath of fresh air and the instrument gauge in front all the pixelations were all exactly as it should be all the readouts exactly as they should be there's no warning lights on the car at all um, steering wheel looks feels fresh in my hand also we've got you know all the other displays absolutely as they should be as well um, I mean it is it's a fabulous car that drives absolutely beautifully as befits as I say the mileage and the um, sorry the service history of the vehicle um, it certainly puts into perspective other cars of, of its ilk you know in this sort of sector you know BMW driving down this road in X5 will rattle your teeth um, I know because I've driven them down there um, MLs of this age are appalling cars I mean I know everyone there's always going to be someone who's had one who's not had any trouble but most of them are back of trouble unfortunately and they just feel like an ancient old ox cart driving down here um, but this is just it's, it's a wonderful car it really is um, and so this is a really nice example of one um, you know at a, at a very very affordable price as well um, as I mentioned at the start of the video the whole point of these videos is to pick up on any issues minor or major or otherwise I can't find anything on it I've got to be honest with you all seems to work exactly as it should it drives absolutely beautifully um, however as always if I've missed anything on the video don't hesitate do give me a call